What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Bokes TV. It's another beautiful day in Central Texas. Boy, is it a hot one, though. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, we're back in the shop today. We're working on the old Kiki Bus. Uh, you might remember from a couple episodes ago, or several episodes, in fact, uh, that we were working on it. Uh, passenger side, getting the rockers done, getting the body kind of back into shape there, the wheel well area, uh, some of the framework. Uh, so I'll throw some links up to there just in case you haven't seen them. Uh, you can go back to the beginning of the Odyssey and you can, uh, you can start from the beginning with us and, and see the progression we've made. So today we're going to focus on basically this panel right here. Uh, we've got the body panel, we've got the inner rocker, we've got some of these uh, support pieces that go you know, inside there like we replaced on the other side but this one we've got three because no doors. Uh, we've got your top hat section that we're going to do. we got the outriggers that we're going to do. Um, and then maybe we'll get to this body panel today. Um, just found out through measuring and, uh, and marking the lines that we got. We were sent the early panel, which has a different wheel well on it, uh, which super sucks because this one doesn't fit, which means a little bit more fab work for me. I just got to make that rocker area match the wheel well on a later model bus. So hopefully there's enough there I can work with it. Um, I hope we'll be able to trim it out and make it nice. This is screwed on with tech screws to something that's not even part of the bus. I don't even know what's going on there. There's an old panel back here repair that somebody did. Uh, so we're going to get all that cut out. Uh, so I've already marked my lines uh, where I'm going to cut. And I have a pretty good idea how much material I actually have, how much material I can play with here, and then where the actual repair needs to start. Uh, so we're going to get the old grinder out, fire it up, and get to slicing. Come on. You see right here they left ooh, <laughs> they left the old metal they just sort of did a little kind of halfway welding on there with the new panel over the top of it and then they just screwed it in with these little tech screws to like the inner rocker which there's none left look there's only just like there's like three feet of it and then there's nothing. They didn't even fix that or else they did and it just rotted away. This thing, I mean, it's not even that bad of a bus. I don't know how it could possibly get like that. But anyways, that's the crappy old repair. When it rusts through and you still see metal underneath, somebody didn't do it right. <laughs> so that's weird, but that's that. Um, I have, this this is the new panel that I have. That's how high it goes. So I gave myself about five inches of, of wiggle room for trimming uh, before I put the new one on. So I, I trimmed it as short as I could to just, just get this, you know, the rust out. Um, and I tried to leave the, uh, what's left of these supports in there because I want to use that to kind of line up the the inner rocker and the new piece that I have for there. And we've got this piece right here that it's going to replace that. But I don't want to cut too much off. I want to try to save as much as the good one as I can. Uh, so we're going to have to go inside before we do the body. I'm going to do this piece first since it's um, on this side. Then we'll turn the bus around in the garage and I'll do all the inside stuff uh, from inside the bus and then we'll come out and knock out the body but it's easier to just trim this body first so that we have 
kind of access and then we have get this off and kind of get rid of what's underneath there and, and get, just get it all cleaned up. So let's get this thing off. Back to grinding. We got the bus turned around facing the right way. I got access to everything I need to get access to. Uh, the outriggers are tacked in. The outer inner rocker is uh, held on with some clips for now just in case we got to make some adjustments on it. Got the old top hat channel. I uh, should be able to cut this right in half. Looks like it's gonna fit uh, like we did on this side. So I should be able to get those in and once this is all tacked in and everything is looking like it should uh, we should be able to burn this all in and be done with it and get everything painted and then uh, we can get that big ass wrong gear roof skin on the outside and we can say adios to the Kiki bus for a while. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'm going to fire up the old welder. First I'll fire up the old grinder which is almost dead. That thing barely wants to turn on anymore. Uh, but I'll get this cut in half and trim out this side and we'll get them test fit in there and we will then fire up the welder and get her done. Let's go. morning already uh, turned into a late night last night we got all the uh, the braces uh, trimmed up and test fit and peeled off the old ones and got everything ready to go but I got a little bit too late to do any grinding and I uh, have done some spot welds on here and they didn't really hold I was trying not to get these in there too hard because I didn't know if I'd have to get them out uh, so I got to grind off some welds and I'm, I'm I'm nice to my neighbors, so I didn't want to be doing that around 10 o'clock at night. Uh, so we got pretty much everything good to go. So I'm just gonna grind these off this morning, the little welds, and, uh, and just burn everything in. We got our, our little holes drilled down the front top here to sort of plug weld it into the outrigger uh, once they go on. And then that inner rocker will just sit right in there. And then we got some holes to attach those to as well. So that should all go together really nice. It all fit nicely when it was tacked in there. Uh, the rocker was a little bit off so I had to adjust it which is why everything had to come out. Uh, but we'll get it all ground down. We'll get it all tacked that back in there and, and just burn them in hard and, and weld it in there so they're solid. And then that side's done. I gotta make a little piece for down below the bulkhead here. And I gotta fabricate that at work. So that's gonna probably have to come on a different day because I'm definitely not going to work on a Sunday. Uh, but I'll make that up and we'll just get that stabbed in there and I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's done. And then uh, Kiki's supposed to be coming over today to drill a million holes in the floor so we can pack it down to the frame. And we'll call this one done for now. 
We'll come back and do the rest of this stuff after he's driven it for a little bit. He hasn't had it for two months. I think it's been here. We've been working on it. So be nice to get it back to him. Be nice to get some garage space back. Uh, we've got a car coming in that just got painted that we got to get assembled pretty soon. So we're going to need the room. So let's jump in there and uh, we'll get to welding. Got all the uh, driver's side stuff welded in there. Uh, it's nice and solid. Got some primer on there, kind of ground the welds down a little bit. And we got the, uh, the little gap on this side that I wasn't happy with. I made a little patchy piece to go over the top of that. And kind of dented everything in and welded that over and, and ground it down. It's not perfectly flat, but it'll be good enough. Here's the uh, final product. I think it came out all right. You know, it's solid. We can stand on it. And uh, we got all three of the pillar pieces put in. And then that inner rocker is, uh, is super nice, tight to everything. I got a little bit of a gap down there on the, the edge of that one that I'm not super happy with, but I didn't feel like unwelding it, so I just kind of welded through the gap. Uh, it is solid. It's super tight and it's nice, so I'm happy with it. Uh, everything looks good there. so. That'll do for today, and uh, I think I think we're we're pretty close, man. We're pretty good. Uh, Kiki's gonna come get that floor drilled out today, so we can test fit that. Uh, I've already test fitted once, but we'll just make sure again that it's you know super nice. I'll fab that one piece on there, and then uh, we'll get to that threaded, super large body panel uh, on the next one. I'm not looking forward to it. Those are super not fun. <laughs> Um, they're not hard to do, it's just a lot of trimming and, and fine-tuning and tweaking. So, And plus, that's not even the right year, so we're going to have to really figure that one out. But I'm going to wait for another day on that one. i got some other stuff to do. Uh, so, we'll just call it for today. So, do me a favor, hit that little subscribe button right there. Ring that teeny tiny little bell right on the side. Tell a friend. Thanks for watching.